Dear Boomers, today I just received 500 subscribers on my YouTube channel and I am here to thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed and um, you know I, I feel very um, grateful, very, very, very grateful, very, very thankful and um, today I think it would be really cool to talk about the science of gratitude. I am so grateful for all of the people who have come to subscribe and probably have just come to look at what I have written or my content or what I have made on video. Um, when we talk about gratitude, it's uh, a good idea to have a gratitude journal. Now this started out as a retirement journal. I started journaling about my retirement, which was really just like, oh my God, I feel such liberation. I don't have to punch a time clock anymore. Yoo-hoo! However, it now is turning into a gratitude journal. And it has to do with writing several times a day. And I like to take gratitude breaks too, to understand that everything in my environment and my life my lifestyle, my dogs, my friends. You know, the thing about our dogs is that they're always with you, the cats, they're always with you, they love you unconditionally. And uh, I am grateful for them in my life. So the science of gratitude is a very interesting phenomenon. And, um, you know, gratitude does make you feel good, but it has profound um, benefits for your brain health, your brain health, your overall health, and your overall performance. Let me just uh, also refer to the Amish community here in Lancaster County because they have a lot of gratitude, but they also have a lot of forgiveness. I think forgiveness and gratitude go hand in hand. Years ago, um, probably 15 years by now, there was a school shooting at an Amish school house um, in the county. So that I, where I did work a little bit uh, later, I was not working at this clinic at the time of the shooting, but when I did start working there, I heard a lot of stories about how, how much gratitude and forgiveness the Amish had towards the person who shot and killed, and I believe it was five Amish children. Now, we um, have a problem with forgiveness in our society and probably a problem with gratitude too. So the more gratitude you have for just being alive, the, um, the um, forgiveness and gratitude go hand in hand. So the science of gratitude is very interesting. Uh, there are a lot of studies that support this. So practicing gratitude, and that would be th throughout every day, probably when you get up to write in your gratitude journal, it can change the molecular structure of the brain. And it's that powerful, yes. When you express gratitude, not just say it, but you practice it, your brain releases dopamine, serotonin. These are ser neurotransmitters that enhance your mood almost instantly. And don't we all want that? And, and as we were just, how often should you practice gratitude? I would say uh, morning and evening at the very least. Uh, write in your gratitude journal throughout the day. Go outside in nature and take in the if, even if it's raining, go out and stand under the rain. Experience this wonderful, heavenly water. And of course, we're made of water, so what the heck? Um, so these uh, neurotransmitters are released instantaneously whenever we practice gratitude. Um, writing down three things you're grateful for each day can make a difference. And you can do this right now if you so wish. And post those things on social media, 
or start a gratitude journal, or whenever you feel depressed, revisit it to all the things, you know, revisit your journal for all the things you're grateful for, which actually boosts optimism. Optimism is so important in the way we live our lives. And it also boosts an overall satisfaction of life. And when you feel cheerful, optimistic, good things happen. Of course, you know, it's not to say it's a, um, a Band-Aid over your feelings, but it can transform your feelings. And this is what we're looking for. And it's not just about feeling good. Gratitude can improve your brain function, as previously said. It enhances decision-making skills, decision-making skills, and increases productivity by activating your prefrontal cortex responsible for critical thinking. Even if you're having problems with sleep, practice gratitude before you go to bed. That can help you sleep, have a better sleeping experience throughout the night. And jotting down gratitude sentiments can reduce the anxious thinking that can keep us up at night. And gratitude boosts self-esteem and reduces social comparisons, a key issue in the digital age. Instead of feeling jealous of others, grateful people appreciate other people's successes, which actually rewires the brains to view success positively. So in relationship to me getting 500 subscribers on YouTube, there, you know, there's a lot of people out there who make one or two, maybe five, 10 videos, and suddenly a video will pop and they'll get 1,000 subscribers overnight. And people who compare themselves to that person may give up because they think they're not good enough, that they are not worthy, or that they are even enough. I am enough. And I enjoy doing these videos. I enjoy doing my online work. And I will keep doing it. Um, you don't have to wait for big life events to feel grateful. In other words, you don't have to wait to get that job or to get that 500th subscriber. You don't have to wait for these things to happen. It's happening. Life happens. Be grateful for all of it. And it just takes a few minutes to incorporate gratitude into your daily life. And it's like a muscle. The more you do it, the more you feel it and you have to use it or else you'll lose it you will and the more you do it your brain will be healthier and your mental health will be stronger it's like when uh, gratitude is linked to dopam dopamine release which fosters feelings of satisfaction and pleasure um, emotional regulation is influenced by gratitude impacting your limbic system the part of the brain responsible for emotional experiences it can alleviate stress and anxiety and even mitigate depression so regularly expressing gratitude trains your brain to be more sensitive to gratitude in the future it can help you focus on what's positive in your life you can turn around the negative feelings immediately to the positive ones just by thinking about it. The Mayo Clinic notes that gratitude improves sleep, mood, and immunity while reducing anxiety and chronic pain. Uh, I like, as I mentioned in my other videos, I like to get up frequently from my desk, say every 30 to 45 minutes and go outside and have a, take a gratitude break. This is what I've been doing until this political season when I got all messed up and now I'm back to it. <laughs> There's no sense being upset about all the stupid things that happen on the outside world. We have to co concentrate on our inner world. Gratitude also helps interpersonal relationships, helping you focus on what you can control rather than what you lack. So here is some practical tips for practicing gratitude using the Ackerman Thanks. 
T-H-A-N-K-S. T stands for scheduling time for gratitude. You can use your calendar to ensure that you make it a priority. H, highlight. Reflect on the positive moments from your day, whether big or small. A, acknowledge, recognize the contributions of others in your life. Express your gratitude to friends, family, and colleagues. And you might want to even write a note of gratitude to all the people that have been a tremendous influence in your life. N, in thanks, in the acronym in thanks, spend time outdoors in nature. Nature's beauty can inspire gratitude immediately and it resets your perspective. And I have noticed that every day when I walk with little Mossy and before that Pearl. And K, kindness. Perform acts of kindness daily. It cultivates appreciation and connection. And S, thanks. Take time to appreciate the small joys in your life, like a warm cup of tea or a cozy bed or the feel of this pen in my hand or I have done a major decluttering effort. And as my friend Sophie says, decluttering can actually make you feel more peaceful. And she's right about that. So, um, incorporating these practices and we can feel 100% better. You're actually elevating your emotions to higher levels of consciousness. Instead of concentrating on lack of forgiveness, um, grievances, frustrations, anger, gratitude lifts your vibrational field to, f to be more embrace it. It's a kind of a mystical thing that you're doing. You are elevating yourself to communicate with the powers of the universe. So this is so interesting. We need to, uh, to do this if you wish, um, express gratitude daily, take a moment to share when you appreciate with someone and post about it and post about it here in, in the comments. That would be awesome. Um, I recently subscribed to the channel of James Quick, K-W-I-K, and I've gotten some of the information on today's content from him. Um, I appreciate you. There's going to be a video that shows up right here. And subscribe. Thank you.